on Cat Scale this loadout. We're gonna go to our Cat Scale app. Weigh my truck. This app's gonna basically verify that we're at this Cat Scale. We accept it. We're gonna update our trailer for the Cat Scale ticket. Five, three, seven, six, one. Done. Accept it. So I've ordered. Now it's gonna communicate with the Waymaster, with the scale. It's gonna come back and give us, we're gonna accept the fee. It's gonna come back and give us our weights. We're looking for 12, 34, 34. So we try not to be over 80,000 pounds. The so process is in payment, and these are our weights. So at this point, we're gonna pull off the scale up to a fuel pump and check our weights again, a little in tip. So what we have here is our, our CAT scale ticket. We're really close to our drives being at 34,000. Our trailer's at 31,760, and we do have room to slide our axles up to take some of this weight off of our drive axles and balance out our steers a little bit. We don't have sliding fifth wheels, so that way we're able to not have to worry about our steers, but by sliding our tandems up a little bit, it'll help us balance it out, and we know we're under 80,000, so we're good. All right, so our weight ticket is telling us we got 31,760 pounds on our trailer axle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it towards the problem of this. We're gonna alleviate a little bit of the weight off of these drives, and we have three-quarter fuel. So that way, when we do add a full tank of fuel, we're not gonna have any issues at the, the scale. So as you can see, we have 39 foot, 40 foot, 41 foot. If we put the rear of the axle at the number we want, it's where we want it to be, to be legal for bridge. California, we cannot be beyond the 40 foot mark, it has to be above. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath and we're gonna look and see what our holes are looking like. This is gonna allow us three holes or about 1,200 pounds, 12 to 1,500. Even with 1,500 pounds on the 31,760, the 1,500 is gonna bring us up to a 33.2. Take about, make our, our drive a little bit lighter, but it's also gonna compensate for the fuel we're gonna get later on. So what we'll do now is we'll slide the handle up, we'll back up the trailer, and we'll set the brakes on the trailer so that way the wheels don't move. So first thing we do, slide this up, the pins retract in. Now we're gonna back up, and then we're gonna reset the pins. So we slid our tandems, we were working with 31,760, and we're going to have put more weight on our trailer axle. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna look at our holes. We had three holes. We were in this fourth hole here, we slid up two holes. 700 to 800 pounds put on these trailer axles. So we're gonna set the pins, and it didn't quite go, but a little tip is I'm gonna rock the truck, and as you'll see, those pins will pop right out. That looks a little bit better. Took the weight off of our steers, evened out our drives a little bit, and now we're a little bit higher on our trailer. Our initial way, where we had 31,760 on our trailer axles, or our tandems, as you might hear it, our reway weights after two holes is 32,260. There's a difference of 500 pounds between these two numbers. That 500 pounds allowed us to bring our steer weight down but it also allowed us to have a variation and the ability to add more fuel and it's gonna create a smoother ride for better fuel economy. So if you're ever looking at this situation, we've shifted it 500 pounds. So one hole is equivalent to 250 pounds. And just a side note, every trailer, every year, every manufacturer, it all depends on the type of trailer you have, where the spacing of the hole is, how many pounds it is. So it's always good to know that with this model trailer, yeah, I always look at the trailer number series and I look at the type of trailer and it gives you an idea of how much each hole is.